Hi guys, this is Ratchet's Raw, and we are playing Criminal Case Elite Mode, Case 23, The Eye of the Storm. Let's unlock additional investigation, and we stop the storm. Well, Katarina, I'm glad the storm is over. I hope the weather will clear up soon now that the machine is turned off. Katarina, stop whatever you're doing. There's been a break-in at the bunker. Oh! We don't know what happened yet, but if somebody else has an interest in that weather machine, I want to know who it is and why. We had enough trouble with it already. Of course, Chief. After what happened to Peggy, we have to keep an eye on this machine. Poor Peggy. Nobody but you believe her theories, Katarina. Yes, she was right about that machine. I bet even her uncle didn't listen. I wonder what Andy's up to now that there's no more hurricane, by the way. You're right. Maybe we should check up on him. Should we go to the bunker before checking up on Andy, though? Your choice, Katarina. We're going to be quite busy. Well, yeah. Yeah, still showing the pictures of suspects in the additional investigation. And one of them is the, the puppeteer. Yes, I remember him. Serial killer. Alright, let's go to Andy first. Commissioner Katarina, I'm glad to see you here. I wanted to apologize for what I said about Peggy. She was my niece after all, and she became a storm chaser because of me. It's all that matters. Right now I'm sorting her stuff out. I'll keep her van, but not all her knickknacks. Could you help me go through everything? Sure, helping you tidy her place a bit is the least we could do. Peggy was a very good girl, and her hard work helped us stop that hurricane. Yeah. Uh, let's investigate the bunker first. Who wanted to break in, and why? We have the remote, so nobody can turn. Nobody can do something with the weather machine. If you ask me, we should destroy that machine so that nobody can use it ever again. Oh, cigarette butt. Nice catch, Katarina. I never have spotted that cigarette butt. It's still burning, which means the smoker was just here. After what happened, it could be terrible if someone started the machine again. You're right. We need, you, we need, we need you to find who smoked this cigarette. Alright, we'll collect the saliva. Alright, now let's look around. The van. Really? Peggy kept a lot of random stuff. Hey Katarina, you have found a day's old newspaper. Wanna check if your horoscope said anything about stopping a hurricane? Uh, okay. Oh, you're right. There's something about the puppeteer in that newspaper says reader's mail. I had almost forgotten about them with that storm. Do you think something bad happened? That reader's mail is legible. Could you take a closer look at it? Okay. Alright, let's collect the saliva from 
the cigarette butt. We got it. Well done, Katarina. I'm sure this saliva sample you collected from that cigarette will allow Jan to find out who broke into the bunker. Yeah. Eighteen hours for that. Wow. Alright, now the newspaper. Let's dust it. What does it say for Scorpio? I can't read. It's too small. Listen to this, Katarina. Puppeteer beware. Your show is over. I'll take you to stage. Drop your mask. Cut the strings. It's time to close the curtains on your little doses hell. Katarina, the text you revealed is an open letter to the puppeteer. If they're still around, this provocation could push them to kill again. You're right, we can't take any chances. Let's get this newspaper to Hannah. She'll figure out who published this. Oh my gosh. Who smoked the cigarette that was in the bunker? Katrina, I don't know what's the deal with that saliva you took from this cigarette butt, but the DNA matches one of your suspects, Susanna Towers. Oh! What? Or why would she break into the bunker? Katrina, do you think she could have wanted to recreate the hurricane? Well, let's ask her ourselves. After all, we know she believed the hurricane would attract the attention of the president. I agree with you, Katrina. We must ask Susanna why she broke into the bunker. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Okay, now this letter to the puppeteer. So, Hannah, did you find anything about the person who wrote that threatening letter to the puppeteer Katerina found? Yeah, I had a look at the Daily Dawson's files, but... Uh, the person who wrote that letter, it's Jan. I asked him to come explain himself. Seriously, Jan, why would you provoke the puppeteer? And why didn't you tell us, tell us beforehand? Because I knew you tried to stop me, obviously. I had to do it. It's the only way I can force the puppeteer out of hiding. Don't be an idiot. Katria has been there for you the whole time. Investigate this puppeteer with you. Trust your teammates a bit. Yeah, just like you trusted us when that anarchist group tried to recruit you. And look how well that turned out. We ought to learn from our mistakes, Jan. Don't be an idiot like I was. Let Katarina help you. But you don't understand. Investigate has brought me no closer to catching them. I'm sick of waiting. I had to publish this letter. Ever since I started looking into those old files, the nightmares have come back. I don't even enjoy spending time with my family anymore. This needs to end now. It doesn't matter anyway. What's done is done. At least I'll be ready when the puppeteer comes out. Damn, I don't know what has gotten into Jan. Who knows what may happen now? You're right, Katrina. We can't do anything about, about it for now. Except let Andy know we are done looking at Pegasus' things. Oh my god. <clears throat> Alright, first let's go to Susanna. Why did you break into the bunker? Susanna, Commissioner Katria has found DNA evidence of your presence at the bunker, a restricted access area. I... I'm sorry, I know it was foolish, but I was just trying to help Chaz Town. Help? By creating another hurricane so people get evacuated somewhere else? Or so the government finally pays attention? Of course not! Look, here in Hurricane Zelda was stopped, Jastar won't restore itself magically after all the damage the hurricanes, looting, and riots have caused. The bad weather persists, people are barely hanging on, yet nobody will help us. I had to do something. 
A sunny carnival would give everyone hope. A little machine can create hurricanes. I'm sure it can clear the sky up. Bringing some sun is an honorable idea, but this weather machine is dangerous. The only ones allowed to handle it are the military. Good idea, Commissioner Katrina. Konos Baker might be glad to use the machine for such a good cause. How about we grab a quick lunch and go talk to him? Okay. Alright, let's go to Andy now. So you're back, Commissioner Katarina. I assume you had an emergency with the way you hurriedly left with that newspaper you found. Anyway, thank you for your help with Peggy's stuff. Going through her mess made me think. I feel bad about her death, but I decided to listen to her. She thought I should stop chasing hurricanes, and she was right. I need to settle down. So you're going to stay in Jazz Town then? Yes, I want to help the people around here. There's a lot to do to rebuild the damage caused by those hurricanes. By the way, I found Pegasus' emergency stash. She would have wanted you to have this money after everything you did to bring her killer to justice. Alright. Was that 20,000? And not 2,000? Man, thanks. Alright, let's go to Kodo. You want to use a red machine again, Commissioner Katarina? I thought you'd be happy to get rid of it after it nearly brought two hurricanes to Jazz Town. Well, someone has given us the idea of using it to help Jazz Town. Wouldn't it give everyone hope to have a sunny carnival? That's a great idea, Commissioner Katrina. This was the original purpose of the project. Helping people. I'll help. I can program the machine myself. Sadly, the signal booster at the weather tower is broken. We won't be able to change the weather on time for the carnival without it. Unless... Would you agree to go to the weather tower and check the backup antenna we put there, Commissioner Katarina? Alright. Thought I heard something, I thought it was my phone. Alright, let's go to weather tower. I need this, but it's broken. Well, I can't pick it up yet. <laughs> there it is. Nice cash, Katarina. You found a broken device phone or Spangler told us about. I hope it will be powerful enough to transmit the machine's signal. I'm sure you can repair that antenna. It'd be awesome if you could bring the sun back to Jazz Town. Yes, we can bring the sun, but after what after what we do, can we can we destroy the weather machine so it's not used for anything else? Safety precaution. There we go. Well done restoring that antenna, Katarina. I hope it won't take too long for the signal to dissipate the clouds. You're right, Katarina. We need to tell Susanna the good news. Alright.
All right, let's go to Susanna. Really, could she Katrina? You could visit the military to use the machine. They'll help with the weather for the carnival. Yes, Susanna. Jazz Town will have its sunny carnival. The machine is currently working to disperse the last clouds from Hurricane Zelda. Good. It won't bring back the destroyed houses nor the victims of Hurricane Eves, but Jazz House's carnival has always been a symbol of optimism. Sun is mandatory, of course. So, Commissioner Katrina, take this as a thank you. You'll be able to take part in the fun too. Ah, okay. Look, Katarina, the sun is finally back. Such a good weather is perfect for the upcoming carnival. I'm sure it will help people like Candy and Susanna, who are doing their best to look towards the future. Whereas Jan's obsession with the past is getting dangerous, his letter could put everyone at risk. Katarina, look! The puppeteer! They answered my letter! Listen. Hello, little puppet. I can't wait for our meeting. In the meantime, I hope you'll like my show. After all, what would be a carnival without a good puppet show? Oh my god, Katarina. This sort of basically says the puppeteer will start killing again. Oh my god. And that's it for this elite mode. Alright, we gotta stop here. We gotta continue playing in another elite mode. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like to this video, and I'll see you again. Goodbye!